Today, we will be discussing the method of supposition from the Leelavati of Bhaskaracharya, which is another method of solving an equation for an unknown quantity. Let us directly move to the first example given by Bhaskaracharya regarding the method of supposition. Panchagna Swatri Bhagonu Dasha Bhakta Samanvitaha Rashitriyam Shardha Padai Syat Ko Rashir Dhyuna Saptatihi a certain number is multiplied by 5 and one third of the product is subtracted from the result. This is divided by 10 and to this quotient half, one third and one fourth of the original number are added. The result is 68. Find the original number. So the first step in the method of supposition is to assume the original number. So in this case, let us assume the original number to be 3. So we assume x to be 3. And then we continue with the steps as given in the question. So the first step in the question, as we can see, is a certain number is multiplied by 5. Since we have assumed that certain number to be 3, we multiply 3 by 5 to get 15. The next step, and one third of the product is subtracted from the result. So 15 minus 15 upon 3, which is 15 minus 5, gives us 10. This is divided by 10. So 10 divided by 10 is 1 and to this quotient half, one third and one fourth of the original number are added. So to 1 we add 3 upon 2 plus 3 upon 3 plus 3 upon 4 which gives us a value of 17 upon 4. Now when we assume the value of x to be 3 we get the value of the equation as 17 upon 4 but the value of the equation is actually 68. So we have to find the value of x for which the equation is equal to 68. Let us write that in a tabular manner. So when x is 3, the equation is 17 upon 4. And when we don't know x, when it is unknown, the value of the equation is 68. So from this table, we get the value of x to be 68 multiplied by 3 upon 17 upon 4 that becomes 68 multiplied by 12 upon 17 that is 4 into 12 48 hence the value of the original number is 48 so this is what the method of supposition is now there is one restriction that this method of supposition has as compared to the other methods now the method of supposition can be used to solve a question only when the values of which are added or subtracted in the question are given in terms of the original number. For example, 1 upon 3 of the product is subtracted from the result. So 1 upon 3 of the pro product is in terms of the original number and half, one third and one fourth of the original number are added. Again, because these number, numbers are added, they are in terms of the original number. If this condition is not satisfied, we cannot use the method of supposition to solve a question. Instead, we will use the method of reversal, which we discussed in the previous video. Thank you.